Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my unboxing of Murdoch Talks 12 Days of Stickers. I cannot wait to get into this. I'm shocked that I like haven't already opened this up before today because I'm just dying to get inside of this. So I have ordered um, 12 Days of Stickers. I think this is the third year that I've done it and every year I'm always really blown away by what's included um, and I do have last year's in case you're interested I did film last year's unboxing so I'll leave that link down below just in case you want to take a peek at what last year's looked like um, a couple disclaimers before we get into this video um, just one please know I will be opening all 12 envelopes in this video so if you do not want to be spoiled if you don't want to see what's coming up please just feel free you to skip this video or come back on December 25th and watch it then uh, because I will be opening them all and I just don't want to spoil anyone in case they want to keep it a secret. Um, and then also if you're sharing this video or sharing screenshots, which I know a lot of you will tag me in, please just be considerate like with whatever shot you're um, taking that it doesn't spoil anything for anyone else. That's like the worst feeling if you didn't want to see something and then you see it in your social media feed. I just always would feel, you know, really bad if that happened. So just be considerate with whatever screenshot you're using. And then finally, of course, I do PR for Murdoch Talks. You can use code Laura10 to save. But while I'm opening this and going through it, all opinions, thoughts, everything are my own. Um, I'm not biased just because I do PR for her shop and Ashley has always been very supportive of that. And I think that's one of the reasons that I love PRing for her so much. So without further ado, I think it's time to get into this. Actually, one more thing. <laughs> so you're going to notice as we go throughout this video that my nails are atrocious. So Toronto is currently on lockdown. I have not had an opportunity to get them done. So please be kind to me and please don't judge me too hard on my nails. I know, I know they are bad. So nothing I can do about that. But without further ado, let's just get right into opening these envelopes. I cannot wait. So the first thing that was included, this was not a part of 12 Days of Stickers. Uh, this was just an added little freebie that I thought was perfect. And it's a new product that Murdoch Talks is offering in her shop, which is so amazing. It's this cute little greeting card. And it came with this little foily freebie here, um, just talking about her release date. It doesn't look like one has been announced yet, but definitely keep an eye on her shop for that. Really, really nice like a glossy cardstock here that says it's the most wonderful time of the year. 2020 is almost over and ain't that the truth. Um, but it's just blank inside so you can definitely customize to whatever you want your note to say. And then it comes with this beautiful silver envelope as well. So it's exciting to see that Ashley is expanding to new products. She's always so creative. Um, so congratulations to her for that. Uh, and now we can get into each of the envelopes. All right, so we have day one here and we just have this little sticker on the back that says, do not open until December 13th. And I really appreciate that she tells you what day to open which envelope because in the past, I never knew like, is it a count up? Like, do you start at one and go to 12? Or do you start at 12 and go to one? I feel like other advent calendars, I get easily confused about that. Actually, before I open this, one of the things I also wanted to mention is I do not know what is in any of these envelopes. Ashley shared one sneak with me quite a while ago. So I don't even know if that ended up making its way into here. So I am just as surprised as everybody else to find out what is in here. I think my hopes for the advent is that it's you know, I know it's all foil. That was something that she was very open about. But my hopes are that it's a mix of like, 
you know, your traditional gold, silvers, rose golds, but then also some fun foils. I have a feeling there'll be lots of fun foils, but I hope it's a good mix of both. So let's get right into here. So day one, oh, right off the bat, these are so beautiful. So these are header overlays and they are dual foils. So the first one is a really pretty blue color with silver and they're all stars and they are gorgeous. And then this one is a gorgeous pink. I hope it's showing up properly, but it's a gorgeous pink with hollow stars. And that is stunning. I love that so much. Perfect, so off to a good start. Love both of these on day one. All right, next up, of course, we have day two. Try not to like rip into these too much. Let's see. Oh, cute. Okay, see, this is exactly what I was hoping for. The first one was kind of your, you know, fun mixed foil. And then we have some beautiful silver scripts here. And these are so functional. Oh, these are excellent. And I love her new, like, thicker font. These are amazing. Yeah, you've got really great ones here. And I think ones that, like, a lot of people will use. Things like Netflix, Lazy Day, Girls Night, Family Time, In My Feelings, Hungover, Busy AF, Productive. On this sheet, you've got some work, Stay Off, Workout, Read, Starbucks, Wash Hair, Doctor, Laundry, Organize, Vacuum. So, so functional. And I love that she did these in silver because I just... I tend to use the core foils the most, but those are gorgeous and the foiling is so beautiful on these. Excellent, very happy with day two. Next up, day three, whoops. I guess I'm not keeping the envelope, so I don't have to be too crazy. Oh, cute. Oh, I love these. These are amazing. Um, we've got some different gold boxes here in different styles and things like that. Really cute, but they're on clear paper. So I'm guessing you would overlay this on top of like an existing half box and like give it just some extra foiliness. We have a little bit of like extra foil here, um, but Ashley taught me a trick where you can use a sticky note and just lay it on top of there and it'll lift up that extra foil. So it's not like a big deal if you see like an extra bit of foiling on a sheet like that, but those are super cute. So you have like half box overlays, rounded quarter box overlays, like squared boxes and a mix of like quarter boxes and half boxes. This is so cool. And then these I'm supposing would be if you wanna put it over a label. So cute, I love this idea. I just think that'll add like something extra special to your spread. Um, Murdoch Talks kits are not foiled, so this will definitely like make your kit extra foily, and that is amazing. I love these, such a, su such a smart idea. Really, really enjoy those. Oh, so cute. We are off to such a good start. I'm so happy so far. All right, next we have day four. What do we got in here? Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I love these little foiled icons. They're so teeny tiny, but they are adorable. Okay, I am such a huge fan. Oh, the little diamond ring. Oh my gosh, I can use that like for all my wedding stuff. I love these. This is full of like really, really functional items. I think the silver is probably the best one to see, but I just think like you could use all of these. You've got a little scale here, maybe like taking a pill or a vitamin, a little snowflake, a razor. I think these are like really different icons too. Like they're not typical ones, but they're still very functional. I don't know, like you have an entire little like pizza here. That's so cute. I love these. So we have silver. I think these would fit perfectly over like a little thing. We have rose gold and we have a gold. Oh, those are really cute. Okay, I'm sorry I'm gushing so much, but I'm just like so beyond happy so far. We still have so many envelopes to go, so I'm gonna try and speed up here a little bit. 
All right, this next one. Okay, I think this is the one that she sneaked to me. As far as I think so, that's what I remember. Um, but how cute is this? It's like a luxe pattern uh, in a rainbow foil. I have no idea what kit I would ever use this with, but man, oh man, that is gorgeous. So pretty. So those are your, both your bottom washies there. Oh, I can't speak today. I think this is just like blowing my mind too much. Uh, and then these are all header overlays. And I love the way that she did this. You get like the full rainbow gradient starting with like the the purple and blue all the way like fading into your pinks and reds and orange and yellow and greens that is stunning i love those and then you have a couple little like deco pieces here at the top your full box overlays that is so pretty i have no idea what kit i would pull that into but oh my goodness once i find that perfect kit Oh, maybe Ashley has something in the works. I don't know, but that is so beautiful. All right, now we are on to day number six. You guys, let me know down below if you were able to get your hands on this. I know it sold out pretty quickly, so let me know down in the comments and what you think of it also. Okay, these are 100% up my alley. Holy smokes, these are gorgeous. Oh, Ashley, I know she was working on this for a while. Like she put a lot of effort into it and I think she just completely nailed it. These are all different animal print headers. So I think this one is giraffe, if I'm not mistaken. It might be a cheetah print, but something along those lines, but that is just beautiful. So these are header overlays. You have zebra header overlays. And then this one might be giraffe actually. I think the other one's cheetah. How gorgeous are those? Oh my goodness. Okay, wow, I'm so happy. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, day seven. All right, let's open this one up here. I'm so glad that I opened this early too. All right, okay, so these are interesting. I honestly don't really know what these are. I guess like just functional headers. This might be the first thing that I really can't see myself using. They're really gorgeous, like so beautiful, but I just, I'm not really one to use like functional headers. Perhaps in my sidebar, I don't know, and some of these aren't really like headers, I guess. It's more like you've got like appointment, laundry, Netflix, vacation, shop. I guess it's just like, I don't know, instead of having the script being foiled, it's like the box around it. I guess that's kind of a cool idea. I'd never thought of that before. That's kind of cool. Okay, these are growing on me. Uh, this is kind of in like a wood grain pattern uh, with like a brown foil. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what color foil that is. It's really interesting and different. Uh, and then we have this beautiful blue color, which that's gorgeous. And then we have the classic pink here, which that is like so foiled. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've never used anything like this. So I'm excited to try and pull these into a spread. Wow. Okay, so that is a day at seven. All right, we are more than halfway now. So we're on to day eight. Oh, that's the first one that I've like really massacred. Oh, sorry guys. All right, oh, this is so pretty. Okay, this is cool. So we've got like a celestial little bundle here, which is super cute. And it's in, I think, her stars hollow foil, which has little like holographic stars in it. I'm sorry if you can't really see it too well, um, but it is really pretty. So you have two full box overlays. You have the header overlays. And I really like the size of the celestial pattern. It's like really small and dainty, which I think gives you like a really cool pattern throughout. Love that. And then you also have some star headers if you wanted to like mix those in. And then you also have the bottom washi overlays. So you have two styles, one being the stars and one being the uh, constellations. Super cool. All right, I like that one. It's gonna be hard to pick a favorite day. I'm gonna try, but it's gonna be hard to pick a favorite. All right, day number nine. This one feels different. It feels like thicker or something. Okay, Let's get in here. Oh, okay, this is different. 
So we've got some bottom washi. Okay, it's just thicker paper. I wasn't sure if there was like multiples there. Um, but it's like solid foiled bottom of washi. And then I guess you could put like a bow or something over top of it. Eh, this is like meh for me. I'm not a huge fan of it. This gold is just like whoa in your face. And the silver is actually like, I don't like they're kind of dull looking. I like they're very foiled, like very, very foily, but it's just like, it's a little too harsh for me. So this is the first one where I'm really like, I don't think I would ever pull these in. These are probably going right into a D stash for me. Um, but I think the concept is cool. I think having this like full foiled moment is like really beautiful. Um, but these, I just, I already know I wouldn't use them. So that's the first one that I'm kind of like meh about, but I still really appreciate the creativity and the idea behind it only three more to go and I can already see this one through the envelope um, let's see here yeah this is so pretty oh my goodness this is in a stunning mermaid foil and you have the mermaid scales bottom washi overlay that is so pretty I apologize if the foil isn't coming up the greatest but it's just hard to capture all the colors like it's a blue it's a purple it's green it's literally like every color in here so it's hard to capture it but the bottom washi is gorgeous and i think i still have when she released this as a two dollar tuesday i think i still have that like full bundle i don't think i ever used it so i think this will be nice to pull into that and then again we have some really cool scripts here this is like what was it day two? Oh yeah these say day two on them that's kind of funny um, I think originally these were probably day two and she foiled them in silver and then for day 10 she threw these in as well but in the mermaid foil which is stunning I want to capture the purple it's so hard to get all of the shifts in here darn I don't think I'm capturing the purple but it like trust me you guys it's gorgeous like oh can that get it no anyway um but again these are the same scripts that we had on day two but just in that mermaid foil and it's really really pretty and again like just will help you if you bought this um two dollar tuesday when she came out with it help you kind of extend that so really pretty on to day 11. All right, so we've got a really pretty blue color, and these look like foil underlay boxes. Okay, that's cute. They're the little like foiled boxes that you would put underneath of your spread. Um, the blue color is really, really gorgeous. I love that, but if you don't have other like blue elements to pull in, like I think that would be I don't know like it's kind of making an assumption I think this might be telling us what is in day 12 perhaps um, because I can't see you wanting to have foiled underlays if you didn't have like a full set of blue foil perhaps I mean I'm trying to guess here um, because otherwise I don't really know what I would do with these without more blue foil to go with it but that was day 11 so let's see if I'm right with day 12. So the last day here, this is what you would be opening up on a Christmas Eve, and yes, I was right. Okay, I had a feeling that that was going to be the case, but you get a full-on $2 Tuesday bundle here uh, in day 12, and it is that gorgeous royal blue color. What a stunning color. Like, that is really gorgeous. And now you have the foil underlays, you have the headers the full box overlays and I love that she gives you like different styles here right like these two are the same but this just has it on the corners and then this just the top and bottom I think it's nice to have a little bit of variety like depending on how the full boxes look and then we have our bottom washi with the bows or the confetti and then the script sampler again I love this font so much so pretty and then we have the kiss cut icons and the circle icons. So cute. Yeah, I really like this color. I don't have a kit in mind yet, 
but I always like to have colors like this on hand. Um, and blue is like a pretty common color to be able to pull in, especially in the summertime. This is more of like a really deep, like royal blue, but really pretty. And I haven't really seen too much like it. So this is half cut headers and then little emojis. And sorry if I didn't mention here, you have your date dots, some corner overlays and a little bit of deco and a weekend banner. So really enables you to do a full spread in this foil. And then probably depending on what the kit looks like, you could pull in gold gold or silver something like that if you needed more of like the functional pieces but I think in my opinion um, the two dollar Tuesday bundle always gives you enough foil if you wanted to do a full spread so that is super gorgeous and that was day 12 so that is all 12 days of stickers and my overall thoughts are I think it was a great value for the price. I think Ashley really stepped out of the box this year and really tried to bring in some new things. Um, I think it's really cool. This like luxe pattern here, the animal print headers, I think are super cool. Um, you know, trying out the, the solid washi, I think that's just something interesting and new. These like box overlays, I think that's super exciting. This is like something new to like do the words or the scripts like that. So I think it's cool. I think she definitely, you know, really tried to make something different and exciting this year. Some of the things I'm not super keen on. I mentioned the washi. I think it's really gonna be hard to pull in this luxe foil with any kind of kit because I just don't have one in mind. If it had been in a rose gold, a silver, a gold, I think it would have been a lot easier to pull in a pattern like that because the pattern itself is already different and then to do it in such a customized foil I think is, um, you know, it's just going to be very hard to find something, but overall I can see myself using pretty much everything else. And I'm really excited to give it a try in terms of my favorite day. Oh, it's so hard to pick a favorite. I think, oh my goodness. It's between two. So, okay. Day number three with all of these gorgeous, like, um, box overlays I think is a contender but then also I really like these little tiny icons I don't know they're just like they're doing something for me and I'm like really vibing with them so I, I think the tiny icons that's gonna be my favorite day so day four I just can see myself pulling these into so many spreads I kind of hope she brings these to the shop because I think they're just really really cute even if they were in black like I would love these these are adorable and like more versions of them I just think she's like really on to something with these because they are so adorable and cute so that's kind of my final my final thoughts oh actually I guess one other thing would be the foil underlays on day 11 kind of spoiled day 12 for me like the fact that we got just the underlays in day 11 and then the full $2 Tuesday bundle in day 12 like you could just feel it coming and so that kind of spoiled the surprise for me um I think the foiled underlay boxes should have just been in the same envelope but I get it I'm sure there's like a cost kind of ratio that you have to work out and I do think that there is a lot of value for your money that she's put in here so Overall, I'm not complaining about it. It's just, it did kind of ruin the surprise of what was going to be in day 12. So that was my only kind of consideration there. But overall, I am so happy with this. I am going to continue to buy 12 days of stickers for as long as she does them because I just love it so much. I love the surprise of not knowing what you're gonna get. And I always am so happy at the end of the day. And I'm pretty sure I use majority of what I got last year. So I'm excited to see how I will pull these in throughout 2021. But without further ado, why do I always say that? <laughs> anyway, that is everything for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know down in the comments, you know, what were your favorites? Um, what did you really enjoy? Did you get the bundle yourself? Um, yeah, leave me any kind of comment down below. I always love 
hearing your thoughts and opinions. Uh, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.